Now let me tell you about something that we discovered years ago, and that's that the brain sometimes seems to be full. When it's full, you'll know it. It's when you have been reading that book, working on that project, trying to read something, and suddenly you realize you don't remember the last three pages that you read. Your brain, instead of absorbing information, has turned from a sponge into Teflon. And that information that you were absorbing before your sponge got full will be the last thing you'll remember for a time until you squeeze that sponge out, and get rid of it, during what we've labeled a brain break. Now, years ago, we saw students as well as conference attendees whose eyes would start to glaze over and we knew in the next few moments they would be checking their cell phones and we would lose them and we thought is it us or is it that their brains are lacking the fuel the oxygen the glucose that's carried by the blood now you're getting a trickle of blood your heart is at the minimum heartbeat per minute during that time 20 to 50 percent of the oxygen that you take in is used by a brain that is two percent of your weight. So it's a hungry device that is starving because you're using it, but you're not giving it extra fuel. So after you have that 5, 10, 15 minute time of work, you need to take a brain break. So what we did with the audiences was to suddenly, unexpectedly, do something else. I would immediately ask them, okay, now, before we get to the next topic, who knows what a group of lions are called? And the students would say, it's called a pride. And I would say, you're right. If a group of lions is called a pride, what do you call a group of leopards? Few people know that the historically correct name is a leap of leopards. And then we would go on with our lecture. Half an hour later, we would be asking them in one of the brain breaks, what do you call a group of leopards? Did they remember it? Maybe, maybe not. But what we did with our brain breaks is divert their attention for a short period of time so their brains can squeeze out that learning and their brains would be refreshed. Often we'll have them move. Moving around gets those extra blood flow to the brain. When you take a brain break, take a serious one. Don't try to get on the phone and make one more call or your brain simply will reach that point of diminishing returns. So students, you're using your brain, you need to treat it well and you need to refuel at a time. So take a brain break, surprise yourself at what you're going to be doing when you come back to the desk and you solve that problem, you came up with that point, or you start absorbing more information.